In today's video, we are looking at a beach that has been constantly described as one of Phuket's best beaches for many years, and that beach is Neham. Welcome to the channel, a very good morning. I'm Tony. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. All the places and links I mention in the video will be listed down below in the description. On this video, we're going to be looking at the sand, the water clarity, the beach setting, amenities, and overall appeal of Neham. Harm Beach. So let's now jump into the video. to start off with the setting of Neham Beach which as you can see is indeed beautiful. The beach is set back in a cove and the beach line has a slight curve to it. Behind this there is a tree line which can offer shade from the midday sun. It also offers some restaurants, parking and small food vendors which we shall take a look at further into the video. Behind the tree line there is a temple to explore and behind there there is a lake and park area which includes an exercise area. Moving further away from the beach you will also find a mixture of accommodation, shops and restaurants. Moving back to the beach area there are three main access points onto Neha beach the northern end which is near the main car parking area the southern end which offers a limited amount of car and motorbike parking and then what I like to call the middle section of the beach, which is where you will find the shops, the restaurants, and from time to time, there's also a market that takes place in this area. The beach here at Neham is one long stretch of sand which gradually slopes into the sea making it a great place for swimming or just generally enjoying the water. If you're coming here during the monsoon rainy season which roughly runs between June and November then Neham does suffer from some strong undercurrents and the presence of jellyfish at this time of year like a lot of the beaches on the western side of Phuket so it's worth keeping an eye out for those jellyfish and also keep an eye on the flags which are dotted along the coastline but generally in the dry season Neham is a very safe beach to be on. There is also lifeguards on duty on this particular beach. Moving on to the water clarity down here at Neham Beach and as you can see behind me the water is looking absolutely beautiful and due to the ongoing situation the island's ecosystem has had a respite from all the tourism which means that the water clarity here is better than I have seen it for many years. In fact I've never seen the sea looking so inviting as it does at the moment. It's starting to take on a truly beautiful turquoisey blue colour. I hope you can pick that up on the video because it is absolutely amazing.
Now moving on to the amenities at Nahorn Beach, you're going to have a very good choice when it comes to hotels and accommodation. Right across the board from your high-end hotels to your more budget-friendly guest houses and rooms, there are plenty within this vicinity or within reasonable walking distance. Now if you're looking for food and drink down at Nahorn Beach then you need to make your way into the area we're currently in which is the tree lined area and in this area you're going to find a number of small vendors offering all your food and drink requirements. On top of this there are also a selection of small restaurants should you prefer to dine in rather than eating on the beach itself. Sorry, cap. Sorry, cap. I should mention that from time to time there is a market that takes place in amongst the trees which is a really nice place to explore especially late afternoon just before the sun sets taking into consideration the view that you get from the trees looking out onto Nahan Bay a really nice and pleasant experience. Moving further back you will find Nahum Temple and whilst this is not a big temple it does offer some nice photo opportunities but please be mindful of your attire if you're coming straight from the beach. You will need to dress appropriately to enter any of the Thai temples here in Thailand. Behind the temple is one of my favourite areas and indeed shadows and this is the lake and park area and this is a great place for relaxing, walking, exercising or indeed in my case a walking shadow. you will see many people taking advantage of this area in the mornings and evenings and there's even an area of exercise machines where you can use them for free. If you've never visited Nahorn Beach before then you're missing out on a great place to spend the day whether it be alone to sunbathe as a couple or a family there's plenty to keep you entertained and enough space if you prefer your own peace and quiet. So definitely a place to put on your list of places to visit no matter where you're staying on the island. You're going to enjoy some beautiful scenery both here at Nahum Beach and on the way to and from Nahum and not forgetting that beautiful beach as well.
Well, I really hope you've enjoyed this video look at Nahalm Beach. And if so, please do remember to hit the thumbs up button because it does really help the videos. If you enjoy my content and want to thank me for all my efforts and hard work, you are now able to buy me a coffee. And the link to that is in the video description and down below. So please do go and check that out. Well, that just leaves me to say, as always, thanks for watching and until next time, you take care and I'll catch you on the next one.